it's Mako. How you doing? Um, so this is actually going to be a special kind of Mako radio show. Um, most of the time I do Q&A or interviews, but today I'm actually going to slightly kind of comment on something that was sent to me recently by, believe it or not, um, a friend who's a woman. And um, it actually uh, kind of dug a little bit at me because it's something that I um, feel isn't uh, correct in terms of the way that certain people look at uh, feminism per se or uh, equal rights or uh, equality you know that kind of stuff so first I want to tell you that, that basically this person sent and it's basically there was an article that was kind of written and and women were were asked to take pictures of themselves writing um, certain things as if if I were a boy fill in the blank and they were approached with a, a more of a feminist kind of outlook uh, to them and first of all um, just big disclaimer uh, I actually completely agree with um, equal rights for everyone not just women not just of you know race or gender but also men um, I think that there are a lot of issues that uh, get buried under the rug uh, and the surface uh, for men because and I think it's it's actually unfair and a lot of times when uh, the conversations come up uh, I notice that a lot of women not all but a lot of women tend to roll their eyes and yeah right and right right there in and of itself that's a stereotype that's a generalizing um, attitude that uh, people share and there are actually some men too that actually feel the same way they'll go they'll roll their eyes and like yeah right um and uh yeah i don't believe that i i in deep in my heart i actually believe that there's um things that go on with both men and women that actually uh are kind of unfair and um anyway so i'm going to just read some of these to you and comment please tell me what you think you guys have your all your own opinions um anyway here you go so here's like one it says if i were a boy I'd be able to make I'd be able I'd be able to make choices about my own body. Okay. Uh, here's the next one. If I were a boy, I'd appreciate a girl's ability to express her emotions. Mm, I could see the same thing being said about men. Um, if I were a boy, I'd never use the phrase "like a girl" as an insult. Okay. Well. I could see the same thing for a boy. I could see, a lot of these actually you could, they're interchangeable for me. Uh, if I were a boy, I would keep my hands to myself. Okay, well I know a lot of girls who are very flirtatious and like to put their hands over guys. So uh, I'm 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 actually I'm reading double standards into a lot of this. Uh, if I were a boy, I wouldn't assume that buying you a drink. Or buying a drink, and maybe that's something that means you're coming home with me. Oh, I wouldn't assume that buying you a drink means you're coming home with me. Okay, and I guess then you could talk about um, why are women or single women maybe there, or why sometimes men are there in bars. It implies that you're going for a drink. Well, don't just assume that every guy that buys you a drink wants to take you home or wants to have sex with you. Maybe they don't. Have you asked them? Mm -mm. You just assume. Uh, if I were a boy, I'd take the time to have a conversation. Every, wait, trust me, most people actually would like to have the time for a conversation. If I were a boy, I'd educate myself about feminism. Okay. Um, and I would say the same thing that uh, you should also maybe educate yourself about men's issues. So if you're going to do one, you should do the other. Uh, if I were a boy, I, uh, I treat girls as humans that should be respected. Absolutely. But you should also treat boys the same way. Uh, if I were a boy, I wouldn't mistake kindness for weakness. Uh, yeah, and it's the same thing. You can, they're all interchangeable. So um, I think the problem I have with this, this kind of mindset of thinking is that why are we why are we dividing gender into this equation and 
not all feminists. I actually, I have a lot of feminist friends and they're great people and they, their causes are great and stuff like that. But there's, there's something odd and weird about, um, separating the genders this way when literally everything I just read could be for either boys or girls. So I kind of wrote some things down here that if I were a girl, which you all know, um, is something a lot of us would like. But if I were a girl, I'd stop always playing the role of the victim and stop assuming one specific gender is only responsible for being the aggressor in a relationship. Hmm. If I were a girl, I would acknowledge that men and women are different and both have pros and cons, but must be respected equally. Equally. That's a big word here. Because I actually don't think feminism is always about equality. If I were a girl, I would respect men and women and acknowledge that many of the very issues certain feminists have, not all, certain feminists, have are often caused by both men and women alike, not just one single gender. So, yeah, I actually think that a lot of the things that many of the feminists um, are concerned about, and rightfully so, I'm not, I'm actually not advocating that their concerns aren't valid, but I disagree that they're mainly caused by men or mostly caused by men. I actually disagree with that. Uh, we could debate that a long time. I actually think there are a lot of women that also contribute to a lot of the, the factors of why um, uh, a lot of women feel the way they do, not just men. All right, so if I were a girl, I would not blame just one gender for my own insecurities or lack of taking responsibility for my own actions. This irritates the living hell out of me. It's a huge pet peeve of mine in, in my life is that I'm, I'm tired of people basically pointing fingers at other people when they make mistake when they make mistakes and blame someone else. Everybody makes choices good or bad. You make a choice. You make a choice about how you live. You make a choice about who you live with. You make a choice about your mate or the person using your significant other. You make choices about the job you want. You make choices about the car you drive. Men and women get all of these choices and you have to take responsibility for when things don't go right and you made the choice that the things didn't go right. But there are so many people I know that when they make a bad choice and things don't go right, they automatically blame someone else for their problems to make themselves feel better. And I'm sorry, guys, but that irks me. And this is this is a thing that irks me about the way so, some feminists, not all, some feminists treat this issue. Um, if I were a girl, I would educate myself about men and women's issues, not just the one gender I happen to be. Hmm. Yes, you need to be open to everyone, not just yourself. And so that all you're doing is internalizing the way you were brought up and the people you might be mad at. If, and if they just happen to be men, that's not necessarily justification for being a feminist. Sorry. Um, if I were a girl, I would take the time to have conversations with both men and women alike. If I were a girl, I would appreciate both men and women being able to express their emotions. Okay, so men and women have emotions. They deal with them differently, right? They express them differently. But women also have to acknowledge, just as men have to acknowledge, that we all have our own ways of dealing with things. And even individuality, one woman sitting next to, the, to another woman, they may not express themselves the same exact way. And you have to respect individuality. It's so hard, but so many people generalize and stereotype. And again, this irks me. All right, so next one. Uh, if I were a girl, I would respect, I would be respectful of any human being's personal space and not flirt or rub against any one stranger, regardless of gender. Nor would I expect any one gender to pay for everything. So again, doubled standard. There are issues on both sides. And I don't care if 
you're someone who says, oh, well, all men like women touching them. That's BS. You know, that's a stereotype. You're still not being respectful of everybody. So, and then the minute someone says that, it's like, pff, no, sorry. Double standard. It has to work for both. All right, next one. Uh, if I were a girl, I would not block an attempt for either men or women to have public forums and discuss gender issues in a civil manner. But it doesn't happen. And if you want more information, I can tell you why that doesn't happen and where it doesn't often happen. All right, so next one. If I were a girl, I would be for men and women having equal rights over the choice they both had made in conceiving a baby together. Aww. So again, when you sleep with someone and you take the chance of making a baby, you both have made a choice. You both have consented. And logical, rational, responsible adults would be able to come together and take responsibility for that baby. Um, but again, men don't have a lot of rights when it comes to this kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's not always equal. Uh, if I were a girl, I would stop. I would not generalize or stereotype one gender as if that entire gender is all the same. See what I mean? And I have to be careful too. I mean, I have to be honest. Like sometimes I slip and I sometimes say like, all, you know, some, all women or feminine or feminism. And I have to, I also have to be mindful that not all women are the same. Not all feminists are the same. Not all men are the same. But there's a tendency to generalize and stereotype a specific group. And it divides people. That's what I don't get. Like, if the idea is we want everyone to feel good about themselves, to be equal, to feel equal to each other, you don't divide people. But division right now and getting upset with someone else is profitable. Think about that. It's actually profitable to be hateful. It's not profitable to get along. Not in these particular scenarios. So anyway, moving on. Um, last one. And if I were a girl, I think I'd be pretty. Uh, I'd be a pretty awesome one at that. And I'm going to end it with that. So again, uh, I'm just you know here. I'm not. I'm not here to bash you know, any one particular group. Um, I think there's issues on everybody's side. You know, there's always going to be problems on, on either side, but, um, I'm really, I'm, I'm an advocate for, uh, pointing out hatred and, um, div people dividing other people and not, and, and double standards. And, uh, you know, that's why I wanted to kind of bring this up because it, it, it hit, hit home, hit home close to me because obviously you guys know, of my gender issues and it's hard when I've got people who look at me and just assume that I'm a guy and I need to learn about women's issues and I need to learn, you know, about women's, you know, women's inequality and all that kind of stuff. And it just it blows my mind when that kind of stuff happens because I think there's actually inequality on both sides. I really do. And if you want to comment, if you want to tell me off, if you want to say Mako, God, what the, f what happened to you? Go right ahead. But this is how I feel. This is who I am. Um, I'm empathetic towards both women and men. I think that both have uh, pros and cons. I think both have inequalities. And I think both are up against certain obstacles that say another one is not. So, uh, yeah. And if you want me to keep talking about this, please, by all means, like I literally, I love debating this, this topic and I could go on for hours and hours and hours, but I won't, I won't bore you guys for the ones who are like, come on, just answer the questions. All right. Take care. I'll see you guys soon.